Greetings, this is Lord Virgilus, and I'd like to welcome you to the awesome power of Act Razor. Yes, it's my next my little run here. Good old Act Razor. Super Nintendo, 1991. Enix and Quintet. Pure awesomeness. Alright, so instead of me raving about how good this game is, let's go play it. So essentially, in this game, you are, despite Eng uh, North American censorship, you're essentially God in this. And you are against the devil, better known as Tenzero in this. And you're also, well, you're called the master in this, but you, you're God eventually, essentially. So, we are... We start off with a um, well, low-key thing. Apparently, we slept too long that we lost our power, so we got to go and revive the land and gain our power back, so we can beat the devil into submission with a good iron fist or you know a good foot in the in in the sand or something. I have no idea. Foot in the sand? What is this? Seriously? Okay. <laughs> so. Uh, first of all, I'm going to check my message speed because I don't want to be doing too much here. We got our status, our bare bones, we're at level 1, so this is kind of an action RPG type game. But unlike an RPG, it's a side-scrolling simulation game, which kind of makes sense, but kind of doesn't. But it's pretty good. We got our score. Score will actually come into play seeing that this is going to be an all population or a max population run. So we don't really have any population now. The world is barren, no one's on it, except for demons, monsters, and you know, the cuddly creatures of the earth, or wherever this place is. So nevertheless, we have got to go fight our monsters before we go into our simulation mode and make the world whole again, or people anyway. So we're going to go cleanse the world with fire. Well, I like to say that, but not really. So we go on to our first side-scrolling aspect to feel more Act 1. And as you can tell right off the bat, the music is kick-ass. Oh yes, the music is fantastic. So pretty much we are going with um, seeing that this is going to be an all uh, a max population run, our score will be coming to play in this. But not really. I'm not really going to, because normally in a ma max population run, you got to grind yourself to get your score up to a certain way. For me, I'm not going to do that. I'm still going to go with max pod max population, but not do any cutting or anything because I have practiced this before many many times this is like the seventh time I'm trying to record this and I have to say that I don't need to necessarily need to do that so we're going to go with just a normal kind of run but also get max population from that so and I'm going to explain more of how that can actually be possible as we go into simulation, because I'm going to have to talk about some stuff during simulation mode, because it's just, you know, sometimes can be very, very boring at some times. And I shouldn't be saying that, but it's the truth. <laughs> so we're fighting a lot of wor worldly creatures. Not exactly monsters in this aspect, but anyway. So we're going to be fighting our first boss, coming up soon. And I will rave about the graphics, but uh, not right now, because I got a boss to kill. Good old Armored Centaur Man here, who um, I don't really know what the name is, but he will charge at you, which you cannot hit him at the time. He will shoot lightning bolts, which you can hit him at the time. And he doesn't seem to be covering everything with armor, which 
doesn't really make a lot of sense to me, you know. He's armored, but not with his horse part, so I can... He's vulnerable there. Doesn't really make too much sense. So pretty much you just need to kind of avoid him. If you go all the way back to the stage, his charge won't get you, so... Other than that. So we got a, we got a score of 12, 30, 12, 12, 12,330. So we got to make sure that we get that. Remember that for the second act. Because we cannot get max population in the uh, first round. We got to pass act two to get max population. All right, so here we are with our duties to protect our citizens. And we gotta watch them for monster layers, because we got monster layers in this. And we're gonna get severely nagged all the time by people who complain about mediocre things that they don't want to do for themselves. Like taking care of bushes. So we gotta use lightning to clear out the bushes. And we use our lightning power from our miracle miracles. For our miracles in Fillmore, we just need the lightning rain. But mainly the lightning. So the enemies around here are mainly our blue dragons, which I just killed, and our napper bats, which will kidnap your folk if you're not careful. If you need to look out, usually you hear them cr hear them cry when they actually steal some folk. You just go there, you shoot the arrow, and that's it. Our good old blue dragon friends here will use similar to a lightning bolt and kill one house. Okay, so what I just did, which I didn't explain, is that I directed my people, which are their good block here, over to the Monsolier because I want to take care of that as soon as possible. And that's how we do it. So we're going to go take care of more bushes, because, you know, People like to complain that they don't have any space to build, but don't want to use a saw and cut down trees. Yay! Okay. Oh, there we go. Where are you going with my people? There you go. Now, I don't know if you can... if they get saved, but go into water that they're actually saved. I have no clue. So what do you want now? Very good. That's where I'm putting you. Thank you for telling me useless information that I already know. How do I know that? Because I'm God! Okay, so... So in monster layers, certain monster layers, you will get... strange items, which mainly are... ones that... use in the, the simulation screen. We got the bomb here, which I'm not going to use right now. But you got to gather there. You got to collect the offerings when you actually. The people are still stealing my people. Hey, you mind? Excuse me. So miracles, I should point out, use SP points, which is right underneath my population, which is at the top, top right. And the population that is in the left is my current population for this area, and the one in the right is the world population. And below it is my SP, my current SP, and my max SP. And the good old hourglass is units of time past. I'm assuming it's a year, because they do talk about years all the time. What is it? Okay. Something from the east. Woods east. Well, I'll get you over there eventually. But right now, I want you to go and take care of this monster layer right here. As I go destroy more bushes, because you, if you don't, you're going to complain about it. And no, I don't want to hit those bushes, because you can't get rid of those. And the guys are coming right after me. So the thing, oh my god, they're really coming after me. Okay. Nope. Okay. 
I don't know, sometimes they don't do anything, and sometimes they're all over me. Alright, let's see if I can actually hit the right thing this time. Yes, there we go. Alright, and we got blue dragons who will... My goodness, holy cow! And I don't have 10 SP, damn it. Come on, I gotta destroy more enemies. One... And the Curse of Dragon. You can recover your SP by pretty much time passing, or killing enemies, or leveling up, or sealing a monster layer. Oh, this is gonna be fun because I don't have enough. Oh, I might have to let it just burn. Because I don't have enough. And I can't do it now because you're sealing a monster layer. Okay, let's do this. Okay, I can actually quench. That actually worked out pretty good. Do I want to do that? Yes, right here. There we go. Oh my goodness. Why can't people just figure out things themselves? So, I'm not totally 100% sure, but I think that if you hit certain, or close, or seal certain monster layers, not a certain number of monster layers, I think it's... A, a certain, like the one over here, will increase your civilization levels, which will turn straw huts into wood huts. Ooh, I got a level up, it's fantastic. And that you'll obviously get more people per house, which is better. Straw houses are only four people. The wood houses are, I believe, six people, and you get obviously another level of brick houses which will hold eight people, which I'll get into a little bit more later on. Alright. Are you stealing my people? No, you're not stealing my people. Okay, so I want to get down here, over here, and back here. Yes. So the number one thing, even though I can't reach max population in this only completing Act 1, is that I really still want to do the thing that if I did, can achieve max population. That means I can only have a, one bridge. And you can have what? What now? What? Rock. Okay. Okay, then I'll go destroy that rock. Sure, why not? Let's go. Let's go destroy this rock because it looked at me funny. I'm looking at you. You. There you go. So if you do certain things in the map, things certain things will happen. Usually you'll get a an item from it. Sometimes for the, your side scrolling element of the game, and sometimes you'll get. No, actually, I don't think. I think you will get mostly for the side scrolling aspect. Like a magic, a source of magic, magic itself, or a source of life. Oh, here we go. We got cornfields, pretty good. Alright, I just have to keep these guys at bay, so the blue dragon's on in. One. Okay, I got a napper bat. Seriously. Okay, so guys are still going pretty pumped up. 